Hello and welcome. In this video we'll be taking a look at the automatic flying controls in Rasbam's AV-8B Harrier 2. Now the AFC consists of these two little switches here, the AFC and uh, altitude hold. Now I'm going to nose up slightly um, to about 15 degrees. I'm going to come down to my left and I'm just going to left click on the AFC and let go of the controls and there we go it will hold it as long as there is airspeed and um, it can still climb obviously now the beauty of the AFC is that it doesn't just hold the pitch it holds roll as well so if I add in some left bank stop there let go of the controls again it will hold everything there until I make my next uh, input or we lose our uh, airspeed or we get bounced by somebody so um, you're able to look for targets of opportunity um, because you're not concentrating on keeping the aircraft level. Now you can be as aggressive as you like in roll um, and it won't switch off the AFC uh, but with the pitch you, if you want to fine tune you have to do it very gently. As you can see I'm bringing it down and the AFC is still on. And what I'm going to show here is that it doesn't just hold it in the positive pitch but in negative pitch as well. So if you want to bring the aircraft down in a 5 degree dive um, and take your hands off the controls and still look around, you can you can, you can can do exactly that. Um, so it's very minim minimalistic but it does the job. So I'm going to bring it back to nose level and switch on altitude hold. As you can see the altitude has leveled out now uh, there's no more descending or ascending so we're going to put some more left bank in and bring it back inland now I'm going to show you what happens when you switch off altitude hold um, just so that you're aware that it's off um, so caution, turn it off caution. and gives you your master caution. So switch that off. And the AFC is still on. Um, and we're still level pretty much. Now if caution, I switch off caution. AFC, get another warning. Uh, but it also says that the AFC is still on there. So we need to reset before we can use it again. Otherwise it just will not go back on. So I'm going to clear that the light goes out, switch it on again and it works. Again this gives you the opportunity to look around for targets of opportunity or to make sure that you're not getting jumped on by anybody. If that does happen you can quickly get out of AFC just by pitching up. Caution. You'll Caution. get your warning and now it's off and you can fly Caution. on as normal and um, we just need to reset the AFC or you can clear it up on the uh, UFC there flying is back to normal so you can make your escape or plan an offensive okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you uh, if we get this into a dive and try and get it as fast as we can it doesn't affect the AFC in any way, you can still use that at maximum speed as with Mach 0.86 as you can see the AFC is still active so we'll clear that, slow down and level it out Now I'm just going to show you that the altitude hold has its limits, so switch on AFC, we're going to nose up to 15 degrees, and now I'm going to try and switch on altitude hold, caution, caution. and all we get is a warning to let us know that it has not been activated. So the altitude hold will only come into effect if it's held on the um, horizon, see, and now we activate it and now it starts to level out and hold the altitude and 
then again it's back to just looking target saw opportunity uh, so looking down on the airfield and like I said before it's limited in what it does but what it does it does very well um, it's very handy uh, especially if he needs to be hands off there we go just deactivated it by being aggressive in the pitch and it turns off both the AFC and the altitude hold just need to reset that shut her up so yeah um, not exactly autopilot because it's I suppose it is in a sense but automatic flying controls would be the better word for it because it's just holding pitch and roll um, and the altitude hold just holds the altitude you can't enter in what you want you can't fly on the automatic flying controls without manually inputting so I suppose you could call it autopilot in its most basic form but it's not a computer that flies for you it just holds your inputs um, so yeah power, power. Uh, very handy tool to have power, especially if power. you're looking for targets and you need to really have a mark one eyeball on everything um, yeah so I hope that's helped um, not the most difficult thing in the world and um, yeah thank you for watching if you got this far and as always take care and I'll see you in the next one.